So basically the packet looks like this, and essentially it has, under questions, it's basically a little script. We're going to go over this in detail in your individual group so you guys can all ask questions and get the clarification that you need, okay? Um, we've got petition signing rules that are listed on the front part, and then we've got a petition signing checklist. Just basic questions that you want to make sure and ask people. Um, so I'll go over the basics so that you guys know. Only Oklahoma City residents, Oklahoma City proper residents can sign this. That means they could potentially have a Yukon address, but they get their water at Oklahoma, like through the city of Oklahoma City. So those are the only people that can sign it. Any of you guys, even when, if you're not in Oklahoma City, can collect signature petitions, okay? <coughs> so the first sheet, and this is required by law, so you guys, I'm trying to teach you guys so that you can take this knowledge with you, and if you guys ever want to do your own petition for whatever reason, or you want to help with this one again, you'll kind of know what's going on. Um, this is a warning, and it basically says, it is a felony for anyone to sign an initiative or referendum petition with any name other than his own or her own, or knowingly to sign his name more than once for the measure or to sign such petition when he is not a legal voter. Felony question? Didn't say anything about being drunk, did it? <laughs> 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 Let's see. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll answer the felony question here in a minute because that's an important issue that has gotten a lot of confusion and I think that that's really important. Um, so after the warning page is a copy of the official petition. That's just the legal version of what we did and what we signed. On the next page is where you will gather signatures. At the top of it is the, gi the gist of the actual petition. So it's the common language. It's the easy way to understand what they're signing up for. So name, signature, residence, or post office address. And that's what they have to include on the petition. On the back of it, as you're collecting signatures, at the end of the night, we have to notarize. We have to get these notarized. That means that as the, as the person who collects the signatures, you sign off on that, and then we're going to get it notarized. We have one, maybe two notaries here um, working with us tonight. So who, who notarized the person who actually accepted the petition? The, the person that actually, um, yes, Connect. that collected the petition signatures. So that person has to sign the back. We'll worry about that at the end of the night. But here's the important part. We need you to come back to us at the end of the night. So your crew leaders are going to give you details, and you're going to exchange information with your crew leaders. We're going to start wrapping up maybe about between 8.30 and 9. We want you to start pulling in to your crew leaders, and you are to make sure and have all of this with you. If you are collecting, um, we are going to be registering voters too. So if you're collecting either one, you have to keep them. We're not, nothing leaves your hands. If you have it in with you, it comes back with you. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist, the general stuff. I'm going to probably, do we know, I mean, how many people do you think are in here? I mean, can I get a... 60, 50 to 60. About 60, and how many, we got about six crew leaders, so about 10. So I think I'm going to have a crew leader just start picking off 10 people, go with your people, get pins, whatever. How many clipboards do we have? Um, we've got some extras if you don't have your clipboard, so we've got extra um, if you need something. Um, and if There's we, also a big box of pins and stuff up here Yeah, as well. pins and stuff are over here. So, um, yeah, what's up? Yeah, okay, you said you were going to be registering people. Yes. Um, they cannot sign tonight if they register to vote no. tonight, right? Exactly. Okay. So if, they, if they're registering to vote tonight, they cannot sign tonight. Listen up, please. Um, they cannot sign tonight, so if they um, if they go ahead and register to vote, we tell them that we will get back in contact with them um, to register to vote, okay? Or, sorry, to sign the petition. My bad. And we'll go over that with you in our smaller groups that right. we are, too. What's up? For instance, like, I registered to vote about, like, two to three weeks ago. Totally. Um, and I haven't received a voter registration card. Mm -hmm. Am I still able to sign? Yes, you are. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you've already registered prior to yeah, signing, I, I, you're I've, good. I've, I've yeah. taken it to the post office. And, well, yeah. As long as it's been turned in, you're good. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh,